developing um, a software as a medical device is a much bigger challenge than people think. So we were delighted to partner with Molecular Medicine Ireland to, um, to organize this uh, Connected Health workshop here at the Digital Hub. And over the last number of years, I've worked with Caroline Viguier from here in the Digital Hub. And we work with a number of companies who are in the e-health space. And from our discussions, we realized that we needed to develop a workshop uh, to help and support these companies about the areas that they are not familiar with themselves. We cover um, different topics, human design engineering, software regulation, quality system, uh, data privacy and business model. What, what's really important is using human factors and uh, device design early in the process, designing from the outside in. So rather than being technology driven, you're driven by the human being on the outside. And But the most important thing is that the FDA tell us and the regulatory authorities tell us that we have to do this now. Um, they, they're telling us formative testing with users early in the process is a crucial part of your design process. The, 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 the biggest thing is always to get feedback from as many people as possible. Um, so patients, uh, hospital workers, um, you know, sometimes you get kind of really good insights from, from people you wouldn't necessarily expect. Um, challenges can be things like uh, the regulatory hurdles, uh, privacy. What we want is information, data is, you know, we're creating mountains of data, so how do we make that actionable information? How do we demonstrate that having that data makes the system more efficient, more productive and improves outcomes? and they will be paid for if we can do that. And I think the big challenge will be around privacy, around data protection, and around integration. Those are the fundamental challenges we're facing. Maybe engage with certain people a bit earlier, so um, probably on the, the regulatory and uh, quality management side of things, you can never kind of start with those aspects um, soon enough. You know, just making sure that you've got everything kind of documented and audited and everything that you do. Um, so sometimes in, in, you know, in startups, you know, resources are tight and it can be easy to overlook those things, but you know, that, that's something that will come back and bite you if, you if you don't pay enough attention to them early on. I think if, uh, whether you're an SME or a large company, fundamentally the question is, have you got an idea or a technology or an application that, that is relevant? So I think the first thing to test is how relevant is your technology, your capability. It's one of the biggest industries in the world. It's growing at a phenomenal rate. It's very attractive because it's scalable at some level. Uh, so yes, I would encourage anyone who has an interest to look at it for sure. The event was a success. Uh, the feedback were really positive. People are already inquiring about when we're going to run the next event. Um, I think people were happy to, to, to learn a lot during the workshop, but also to network uh, with people that they're hoping to work with in the future. Uh, and if you want to find out more, just get in touch.